What's good, YouTube? That one on YouTube. You're back again. Once again, and today, people, today we are here for our final UCL season two team preparation video. There's no face cam because I feel and look like death because it's 7:30 in the fucking morning, as I got five hours of sleep to wake up early to team prep for this battle because today is the only day I can battle Joey, and if I don't battle him today, then it's an automatic forfeit, and I'm most likely gonna lose, and this should be a super short team builder because I Yikes. need to look for Kieran Black. <laughs> <laughs> that's the that's the TLDR of the entire video right there. Uh, but yeah, Nexus is joining us once more. Hi. Uh, hi, hi, Nexus. Hi. Nexus is joining us once more for this super quick team build. Hopefully, it's gonna be super quick. Actually, it has to be super quick, but you guys don't need to worry about that. Anyways, we have the Bronx Bear Ticks here, and let's check out their monstrous fucking draft. It's gonna fist us, bro. Oh my god. <laughs> I mean, he does have a pretty good draft, though. He does have a very, uh, very scary draft. So, uh, the Bronx Bear Ticks 3 OU picks are Black Kiram, destroys our team, Garchomp, Manaphy. Uh, their UU picks are Reuniclus, Snorlax, and Mega Aggron. I wonder why Joey drafted that Mega Aggron. Ha ha ha. <laughs> uh, then his three RU picks are Tangrowth, Alomomola, and Flygon. His uh, three NU picks are Rhydon, Garboder, and Pyroar. I feel stupid because it took me a while to catch what you did there. Yeah. I was like, you're like, I wonder that. why he picked that. And I was like, oh. He drafted that Mega Aggro for a fucking Mega Gardevoir since he has two dragons, three dragons on his team sitting right there. So, can we assume that Black Kiram and Mega Aggron are 100 Black Kiram, Mega Aggron, and Manaphy are 100%? Uh. Black Kiram, Aggron. Oh, well, Mega Aggron 100%. Because if he doesn't bring that Mega Aggron, his switch into Fairy type is like only freaking. Uh, what's this? Yeah, Garbodor, yeah. So, I mean, yeah. Yeah, I, w I would assume that those are likely. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. So, if we were to build a likely team what are the other three mods snorlax, snorlax uh uniclus and either tangrowth or the fish yeah he'd bring the lags because um sure if you have focus blast uh thunderous t is still a really good switch into thunderous t that like, snorlax is really really fat if you didn't know oh no i know i'm looking at him <laughs> yeah snorlax is real chub so he could take it for days um let's add any like kind of stops a bunch of your like especially Rotom Heat number one it stops number two it stops Napoleon uh it just stops a lot of things a lot so him realistically bringing that Snorlax yeah yeah I see it yeah will he bring it yeah that would be a threat yeah okay yeah <laughs> all right all right all right so those are the four realistic mods he's going to bring everything else we can kind of sort of prep around uh, for Snorlax though, I'm thinking we should yo, check out check out this team build I'm about to do right now. Right? We're just gonna slap six niggas together and see where it goes. And we'll, 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 we'll conform from there. Right? So we have Mega Gardevoir which has to come no matter what, right? Okay, right. yeah. Yeah, yeah, of course. I mean, outside of the Mega Aggron and Gar I mean, even Garbodi, all you do is see the Psychic Stab. So outside of that, yeah, Me Mega Gardevoir does a metric ton. Okay, alright, alright, wait, let me think. Let me think. Let your boy use his brain juices real quick. It's still early in the fucking morning. But let your boy do this. 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 Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna click this right here. I'm gonna click this right here. Check out what I click. Hmm. Are you are you are you are you liking what I'm putting on this team so far? Dragonite? Wait, don't, uh, answer, that. don't answer that. Don't answer that. Oh, answer okay. That. Answer I won't that. answer it. Not yet. I'll wait. Hold on. Just wait. Just wait. I'm still in the motion, still doing what I need to do. Yo, I'm gonna do something that you're gonna love. Are you ready for this? I think. No, you don't. I, I feel like I know where this is going. I feel like I know where this is going. What? Oh! Oh, it's not! I like this! Oh, that's what's gonna recommend this because they have knockoff uh, for Reuniclus, and this thing is gonna bust that Snorlax real good. Wait, wait, wait. Just wait, just wait. Just wait. Oh, I mean, oh, you can wait. Okay. Shh, shh, shh. Let me hold on. Watch what I do, watch what I do, watch what I do, watch what I do, watch what I do. How do you feel about this? Um, um, nigga. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna let you, I'm gonna let you do you, I'm gonna let you do you. We're gonna conform after this. I'm gonna let you do you. Just wait for it. I could put Moxie on that. And then I need some sort of wall. I mean, I guess 
looking at his squad. I kind of want to put Gastro. I'm not gonna lie. It's, it comes down to Gastro versus Rotom. I mean, look at um, I guess Rotom for the Tangrowth and the Alomomola. Maybe that guy. But and the fucking man. But I mean, they they the way body Rotom. Is, okay, let's just just go with what we have here. What do you think so far? Hmm. What I think so far. I should open up his team, see for threatening things, because those are threatening things. Um, I see right now that Kieran Black needs to come in and click Ice Beam. Mm. Right. And, um, yeah. <laughs> well, the last mod would have to be Empoleon for Defog. Mm -hmm. because... Um, I would actually like Empoleon. I know it's Garchomp, but if you, we're really just concerned about Kieran Black, like the only thing Kieran Black can do to actually, I don't want to just say here yet and spew some blasphemy. Like from what I know of, is uh, what Kieran Black can do to that, and because I'm, I'm pretty sure he learns super power. Let's look this up. Let's look this up. Let's look this up. He's Kieran Black. I mean, he learns all these wide moves, yet he can't learn Ice Punch. Yet he has one whole left arm made out of ice. He does not get superpower moves. He gets Focus Blast. Why would he focus? Why would he just fusion bolt me? For some reason, I keep thinking that you slept. Like I don't know. Sometimes when I see brown mons, I get triggered and think that they're ground types. Who's brown? Pincer. What? What color is he? <laughs> He's a. He looks bug like <laughs> though, bro. He looks bug like. Um, yeah, he could just hit fusion bolt. But then you also could have that one berry. With Wakan Berry. Wakan Berry. Should I run Wakan or should I run Chopple for the Garchomp? Yeah, answers, answers, answers. <laughs> um, wow. First off, let's find a switch into this Kurum Black. We don't have one. That's the thing. Yeah, it doesn't exist. It doesn't exist, my dude. It doesn't exist. Like the things Who's that come in, in, the things that come in on Ice Beam, uh, you can simply just swap up moves. So like he, uh, yeah, Rotom can come in. All he's to do is click Dragon Claw. What are the chances you think he's going to run a Scarf Kiram? Because I could run Scarf Mons, like I could run Scarf Gallade, and that would help me with the Kiram. I mean, if that's the case, shit. <laughs> I mean, if that's the case, you could do that. I mean, Scarf Gallade is some power. I was gonna say maybe AV Gallade, because like if you're so worried about Ice Beam, I, mean, I guess you can come in on that. But then all you have to do is click Dragon Claw. So no. It's a toughie. God, Mega Gardevoir. Let's start. Let's start slow. All right. Let's start slow. Let's let's start slow. Okay, Mega Gardevoir. Let's work. Let's work our way up. Let's work for Mega Gardevoir. Bro, look at this damage. Hold on. Look at this damage. We're swallowing an ice beam. Swallowing that ice beam. If you're a soul vest. Mm -hmm. Oh, you actually are. Dragon Claw to sixty. All you have to do is ice beam once, and then Dragon Claw to follow up. No, 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 no. But if what if we're scarfed, my dude? Hmm. I think he's gonna bring a scarf, Kieran Black. It yeah, I am kind of feeling the scarf, Kieran Black too. It'll in turn guarantee he outspeeds my entire team, barring scarfers, and oh, coat two shots my entire team. Mm-hmm. All right. So you said Mega Guard. Mega Guard. Let's let's take a look at this sexy sexiness right here. Yeah, baby steps 100%. Because like I feel like we're doing a lot. Baby steps. Let's, let's start off. Let's start off with baby steps. How about that? Let's let's start off with baby steps. Yeah, check out check out these moves I'm running. Are you ready for this? Hyper voice, psychic, thunderbolt, protect. How do you feel about that? Oh, you're running that uh, in case he is scar. So you try to see what he locks himself into. Sure. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Um, Hyper Voice and Psychic are two we can guarantee right now. Uh, Thunderbolt is something I'm not understanding. I feel like that's only for Manaphy and Almamola, but can't those Hyper just be. Voice still does enough damage, yeah. Yeah, so Thunderbolt, I'm not too sure of because right now maybe you would want to have Focus Blast to be able to hit that, Ooh, that Mega yeah. Akron. Mm hmm. Cause if you do the couch right on Bridge, you're like a timid focus blast. Mega Gardevoir is heading like a metric track. I don't want to say timid because this way you speed tie with the uh, Manaphy, which I think, which I think we know that he's bringing the Manaphy. 
I wouldn't be surprised if he brings a bulky Manaphy. He likes to bring bulky Manaphy with like setup, uh, like bulky offensive Manaphy rather than just raw max speed, max special attack Manaphy. So let's see here. We're max special attack. I was gonna say, let's do inject shit. Uh, we drop focus blast on here instead. Ooh, that damage. We're getting our ass eaten by a heavy slam. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's not something you're gonna be wanting to appreciate. I mean, that's still good damage. Look at that. That's especially really defense. Yeah. Especially Actually, he not stab and he could especially defensive beneficial nature too, because I feel like he'll do that because the thing has 230 defense. So like, what physical move is doing anything to it? Uh, Earthquake. Look at that. It's got special defensive investments and everything. Focus wise, still doing almost 70 percent. See what I'm saying? So unless, if he were to switch in and we were to predict it, and I click Focus Blast, that'd be great. Because then I can click Focus Blast again, and knock on wood, but I don't miss it. Because if I do, this heavy slam. <laughs> <laughs> Getting oh. destroyed. <laughs> okay, so is there any other fourth move that you could possibly think of that we need to use that would benefit us better than Protect? Uh... Maybe sub. I only recommend sub because this way, like, if you like, because Market Gardevoir is going to force a lot of his mods to swap out. Like, only a few mods really come in on a hyper voice. Uh, Aggron, Mega Aggron being the obvious one, and Garbodor being the follow up. I mean, if he wants to bring Pyro this week too. <laughs> what, about, what about an AV Snorlax? That as well, that as well, that as well. But even still, I'm pretty. Will, will he appreciate hyper voice combination with Focus Blast? Even AV? It's a Snorlax, so I feel like he'll still live all of that, but... Let's check him out. Tub, there, are tub, some safer, there are just some safer options I feel like he'd take. Let's check out this Tub Tub nigga. And see what he's doing. Bro. Look at this. He's living it all. He's living it all! I think you should run to opt to side shock though. Are we doing side shock this week? I'd opt to side shock this week. Because of the Snorlax and shit like that. Boom. Maybe like Psych. Yeah. What? Because I was going to recommend Psychic too, but side shock could be for Snorlax. I was going to say maybe for Amamola as well. We could just have a voice Amamola. So. Amamola's going to get the dick. <laughs> so, we got I mean, Mega shit. Mega Guard. Mega Guard of War is simple every week though. It doesn't take a lot. It doesn't take a lot. It doesn't take a lot to. to well, I don't know. Sometimes we have run a pretty peculiar Mega Guard of War. So, how do you feel about the Chestnut though? Chestnut, I feel like maybe he can come in on uh, Mega Aggron, but then at the same time, so Mega Aggron's move pulls semi decently wide to the point where all he has to do is he like. I think I think when it's Ice Punch or Avalanche, if I'm not mistaken. No. Way. Which. Yeah! No way. Let's go. So it learns Ice Punch and it learns Ice Beam. Mega Aggron gets Ice Beam? Yeah, he, yeah. Fun fact, remember, he learns weird moves. Is that um, when you're fighting Steven, his new, like, Solar Beam. Ice Punch and Ice Beam. What the fuck? It has Icy Wind. How? <laughs> How? He's got cold breath. He's been chewing on that fire gum. That breath mm -mm. is chilly. Mmm. Mm. This is this is a case scenario to where Drapion would come in real handy if he was just faster. Cause how I'm looking at this, if you were in like a swords dance lumberry Drapion, I could do something. Even Dragonite. Couldn't he just earthquake my Drapion? Well see, that's what I was saying. That's why I wanted it to be faster, because if you were faster than Chomp, then yeah, but Uh, how do you feel about that move, Zach? How, how are you feeling, Nemnexus? Spiker Shield, Leech Seed, Drain Punch, Wood Hammer. I like Leech Seed. I like the Spiker Shield. I like it. Wow. I, I like this. It. I like this because this way you can, like, kind of get recovery based off his walls when you're wearing them down. Uh, you have dual recovery. Um, you have a stab move. And you also have a move that will opt to them to take in physical damage. Something like that. Okay, it's also good a, too because you can scout. Yeah, I can't touch the, the Garchomp too well. I can't. I get walled by the Tangrowth. That's the only downside. And the fucking Garboder. Uh, I have to run like Earthquake. And even then, well, I, I only touch the Garboder. 
I kind of want you to bring Rotom Heat because it knocks out both. Uh, it's like a two for one where it's electric and fire and tanker with an Amamola. But then at the same time, you don't want to switch it in an Amamola. And I feel like he'll bring like a rock, like rock slide tangro or something like that. Just to be able to touch the, uh... So who's, who's leaving the team for that, though? I'm gonna guess you're gonna recommend safety first. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna 100% recommend safety first. Bro, I want him to put in work. He's gotta do something, my dude. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately... Unfortunately... He's got potential, Nexus. You saw what he did. You didn't believe in him. You saw what he did. I mean, yeah, he has potential, man. Yeah. Yo, just imagine this. Sash, pincer with close combat. He'll click Ice Beam with the fucking, whatchamacallit, Kiram. Oh no, the pincer's still here. And that's when you just punch the shit out of the thing. <laughs> I mean, sure. <laughs> I mean, it can happen. If you want to. Yo, let's run the couch. Let's run uh, the couch. I, I want you to kind of opt to. How do you look up Black Kiram? Kieran Black. Oh, you <laughs> Great job. Great job. <laughs> I don't use this mine. What the hell? All right, so check us out. Check us out. Check us out. Check us out. Close combat. Look at that. With rocks damage, Nexus. That's jolly. It's jolly, my dude. We can make him adamant. Yikes. It does that much damage? Hello? Yes, it's fucking pin pincers, hench as fuck. Yo, makes one oh, wait, 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 wait. It's a mega pincer. Mega. <laughs> got me all hyped up. He got me all I mean, really I can hyped put stone up. Edge. Wait, 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 wait. Close combat's not on this moveset. Hold on. Yeah, put close combat on there. Bro! Bro! Yo, Bro. you did us. You know what? Mm, it's just, it's. I was gonna say, is that a speed type? No, it's 85. You'd have to bring it scarf, so you lose power with the life orb. No, I would bring it sashed, my dude. Cause if he's gonna if he's gonna bring a scarf one, he's outspeeding me no matter what. Well, I mean, I guess you're right, but there's also to, to implement hazards as well. And if you don't bring Empoleon this week, <laughs> you ain't got no hazard removal. Yo, look at the min damage on Ice Beam. <laughs> <laughs> It doesn't, he does not care. He does not care as a thing. Man, he damage is 100. Not. Well, fuck. And me. the thing about this, too, since he has Terra Volt, you're not having multi scale this week, essentially. Is that what Terra Volt does? It's basically Mold Breaker. I don't believe it. That's basically what it is. Rehashed Mold, rehashed mold Breaker. Pokemon Terra Volt. Terra Volt ignores the effects of abilities that could potentially affect the damage or effects of the movie, for example. Terrible can hit opponents that possess Levitate lev lev <laughs> by using Earthquake. What the fuck? It's basically Mole Breaker. That's stupid. Why give him on like that? What? I mean, I can't be mad. Most legends just have pressure. So. True. 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 Okay, so this this Rotom you're saying you're saying is needed a hundred percent. So we're gonna I'm gonna put I'm gonna put check check me out check me out bro dog check me out. Yeah, somewhat of a switch in nigga. <laughs> I mean, it's somewhat of a switch into Tangrowth. I say somewhat because he decides to bring that rock move. Tangrowth. Tangrowth runs Rock Slide and Rock Tomb, as well as Ancient Power. Fun fact, I lost a Ho-Oh in Diamond and Pearl solely to an Ancient Power Tangrowth. That was actually really fun, now that I learned this fact. It was really Yo, fun. So tell me, what do you think about this moveset? Uh... Do you have Pain Split on there? Because actually, low key, Pain Split can be something. Yeah, see this? See this move, sir? Because, yeah, he has a lot of walls, so Pain Split actually will be something this week. Thunder, we're going to have to be a no no for. <laughs> what? Why? You're not landing that, dude. Nigga, I want you to know this is the last week, and I don't expect to win as it is. Bro, dog. Bro, dog. Skull's not doing enough. Well, Check that's a I'm a mola. I'm a mola ain't hitting the. I'm a mola ain't hitting the hardest, you know. No, I'm just talking about killing this thing. That's what we're more so concerned about, right? Right. Yeah. I mean, why don't you just run discharge, or hold switch? 
Oh, you already have Volt Switch. Yeah, I have Volt Switch. For the initiative and Thunder. Will shit always on people. Volt Switch overheat. No, no, no. no. This is from last week. I'm talking about, uh. It would be. Pain Split is the last move. Yo, let's do it. Let's run Thunder. You're not landing that. Not in a million years. Nigga, we're running Focus Blast. Why, why can't we run Thunder? Because one's needed, one's not. <laughs> Fun what fact, is, what is it's it? not needed. I could- yeah, it is. Why doesn't Gardevoir get other fighting type moves? That doesn't make any sense. Oh, like Aura Sphere? Yo, if they gave her Aura Sphere, they did that in Blaze Black. Did they really? Yeah, in Blaze I've Black, never played gets, that. I've never played that game. Her and Gengar both get Aura Sphere by level up. That's crazy. Wow. Yeah. Wow. I think you should still opt to sub for that Gardevoir to protect. That's just me. What am, what, who am I going to get a substitute up on? Okay, look at this right now. Look at this right now, right? Example, if it's something like Amamola v Gardevoir, you're going to either A, he's going to just stay in here and just pop a skull, maybe try and go for Thunder Wave. Maybe he'll, pro he'll probably be Mirror Coat on that thing. Watch out, it knows Mirror Coat. So that's a free sub, number one. Number two, you get damage behind the sub, and if he does Miracle and pop the sub, you could just either you could force him out again and go re repeat with another sub as he tries to get the regenerator back, or just kill it if he tries to just let it go. So you have a few options there. I mean, he's a lot of mods too, just a lot of fat mods. Tang growth as well, but more it's more along of the sub is just filler. Uh, it's there to catch switches. Like if he's gonna swap out, you basically get a free sub if you know he's gonna swap out. Or number two, you could bring Calm Mind. Uh, cause after a call mine, the thing is wrecking. Actually, but I like if, call mine. But if he has a scarf, fucking shitter shitter face. <clears throat> I know, but it's like a filler. It's like a filler move, where it's like once that scarf mine is gone, you can use that filler move then and just be able to just kind of run a metric. We need. We really desperately need. Britannia has to come. Mm hmm. Yo, I think that we really need thunder, rocks too. We should, just, we should just fucking run hybrid me, bro. <laughs> For what? <laughs> so, so, what are the chances you think of Garchomp arriving on the scene? Um. Mm, maybe not as high as we think. Uh, I know sometimes he brings them both, and then most times he doesn't bring them both. Like, he usually picks one of the dragons. Um, with a Mega Gardevoir, maybe, me, me, no, I don't think he's gonna bring both at a Mega Gardevoir because last year, uh, you scooped up the W because his fairy switch ins were just like it was very difficult for him to switch into fairy moves. And speak of the devil, you still have the same Mega Gardevoir, so um, yeah, I don't think he's gonna bring both. I don't think he's gonna bring both. I think he's gonna opt to them. And when Kieran Black looks like a much bigger uh, threat right now, I think he's definitely gonna come to that and go for that. Not to mention Kieran Black's ability is really gonna come niche this week as well. I think he's gonna bring Black Kieran, Mega Agron, Manaphy, Snorlax, Garboder, and Alomomola. I think that's the predicted squad. The squad. Um, I could see him bring Flygon. I only, I only, I only say game. that. I only say that because of hazard remover. That's a. So I'm pretty sure that's his only hazard remover. Yeah, it's Flygon. So you think he's gonna bring like a Tailwind default Flygon? I wouldn't be surprised. I mean, if you essentially okay, so I don't think he's gonna bring a lot of fairy weaknesses. But if you do see him, like you know, bring that Flygon, you know, actually, I think that'll kind of click in your head that I mean, you had this last season. You know what it can do. Yeah. So, but my question is, should we run the Wacom Berry or the, or the Shucka Berry? Mm. What's more likely going to be a thing? An earthquake from mm. one of his bonds, or should I take the hit? Because if that's the case, then I want to put... I mean, I could try and scald the Kyrim and burn it, but I would rather... How much does Flash Cannon do? Well, you could it? try and scald it, yeah, but like ice, he still has Ice Beam. That's still going to hurt really hard, you know? No, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm yeah. saying. Like, in terms of what move I should carry on it to hit it. Because Empoleon, let's rock out with this and slap uh, Flash Cannon on him. That's respectable. That is respectable. That actually is really respectable damage. Fusion Bolt to... Wow. So, I mean, you live anything. Even without the Wacom Berry. Yeah, or the shot. Yeah, you basically live anything. But that's from full. Yeah. Obviously. Yeah, you're right. Oh, well, Wacom Berry... Yo. 
just earth power me, bro. I mean, he could, but if you have something like the Road of Heat especially, will he take that risk? He'll still hit me with earth power because of terrible. Oh my god, that's right. See, and I kept pointing out this entire time and I just forgot about it. It's crazy. <laughs> but that means that I couldn't run Ice Beam. I have to just... Yo, can they think... I'm about to spew... <laughs> I'm about to spew some blasphemy. Can they think they're magnet rise? Uh, let's see. Nope. Rip the dream! I like it, though. I like the idea. Of walk on? Yeah, I'm liking walk on, too. Uh, you, you never know. Just you live at Earth to... Power still. You right? Yeah. And if he puts, if he Earth powers me, that puts me in torrent range, and that flash cannon is literally gonna. With torrent, his torrent flash cannon. Yeah. Let's just say put me 10 HP. It didn't change anything. Wait, I'm lost. Flash cannon to steel move. Oh, you're right. <laughs> I just thought it boosted him in general. I'm stupid. It's early it's morning. Spice. I understand. It's hella early. Oh, it's hella early. Okay, right, so we're gonna run a bulky penguin. Yeah? Mm hmm. Is there anyone that we need to try and outspeed that fucking Aloma Mola? Uh, if you don't put any investments, what is. It doesn't matter. I can't touch no, it. No, I was gonna I was gonna say, no, if you put like a single investment. Aloma Mola is like 30 speed. Yeah, speed like it naturally. Base 65, bro. Are you pulling my, my belly button? Unless I'm getting a mix up with another mod. Little Mola is basic. Hey, this is speed. Hello? That fish, that flounder is fast. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'd put a little bit of investment. I feel like he's if he brings it, he will kind of creep. Uh, a little non-invested. That's 166. I would go, he's going to creep a little bit. But like 20. Keep going a little bit. 24, yeah. 172. Let's, we, let's... Go a little, uh, we go a little bit above 172, 173. Anything above. So let's see here. What do we need? Okay, let's get this shit off my fucking screen, dickhead. Alright, so one seven. Oh my God, this is so much investment. It's not have. It's not have. Oh wait, wait, wait. That was that was level one hundred. Mhm. Mm hold on, hold on. You fucking tricky dick. I was like, why did I take so much? So it's eighty eight speed. That is a little more reasonable. There you go. So you go like eighty nine. Hey. There you go. One eighty eight, and we're still. Look at that. Look at that. Not that we can touch him, but we can still do shit, bitch. <laughs> Essentially. Okay, so let me, hold on. Let me move these mods that are complete because I'm getting confused. Let's, hold on. So, so the, the, what, the, 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 the yes. Thing's coming. Uh, this thing's coming, right? Wait, we're, we're, we're content on this? Yes. I'm so, pretty content on this guy. I mean, it does give you an ice beam weakness, but I mean, maybe he shouldn't come. I only say that he should come because uh, well, Garchomp. Everything else. But at the same time, so Garchomp, a lot of Garchomp has to do is click fire blast. Yo, what if you're on Yachi Berry, bro? Yachi Berry Chestnut? Hello? What? You? Belly Drum Salik. Nigga, it's not gonna happen. I thought maybe I could get somewhere. I can't. I can't belly drum if he has fucking what you call it, my dude. Ice beam. I guess you're right. I guess you're right. I guess you're right. I guess you're right. I, I guess. Mean, look, I can live a life orb ice beam. I have a chance. Wait, we're still running call mine on that Gardevoir, yeah? Uh, yeah. Cool, cool, cool. And pulling us done. Okay, let's check out this Nutcracker. Hmm. Base 64 speed, yeah, you want to be able to outspeed the Almola too. You know how badly that would suck if that thing just kind of killed you off? Yo, we're going to run Curse Gastrodon. Yo, He's Ice Beam still does so much. Never fucking mind. We're not bringing that nigga at all. Because I could curse up on, like, Snorlax. I'm trying to see what else you could, like, do. There is no other option, bro. Kira Black Kira, is just, using just that big ice arm to just ram me. Jeez. Ugh. Kieran Black's move pool is so good, too, to where it's like your entire draft. If he clicks one move and it's not very effective, he'll have a super effective move or a stab, dragon stab right there. Crazy. Oh. Uh... Um, geez, 
Yeah, you're gonna have to put up rocks. If he doesn't bring the Flygon, you're so free to get up rocks and they will stay there and Kieran Black will be chipped. Stupendous. So you're gonna have to look at it as in wearing down that Kieran Black. What do you think of this spread? 89. 252 HP. Hey, we're going a little bulky offensive. I like this. Wait, who else who else does he not have, does he have speed uh I'm trying to see. Okay, Snow Life, so I know we have speed. Mega Agron, I think it's the one we should be looking at this. Because Mega Agron, I think it's like 70. How? I don't know. He's a walking fortress. Oh, he's 50. He's left and all in. Never mind. What the hell was I talking about? I think it was Tangrowth, what I'm talking about. Let's go check out the Tangrowth. Then. How fast is Tangrowth? I mean, he does wear fucking speed. Tangrowth is base, 50. Base 50. That's what like, am I talking about? <laughs> okay, so about? I don't, I don't know. We're not gonna outspeed that. We're not outspeeding that or that. For Uniclus, he's slow. Uniclus as shit. is thirty or some shit like that. Yeah. Outspeed, 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 outspeed. You have to be the things you need to. You're doing a lot outspeed. of damage. This thing, this chestnut has little switch ins. If he doesn't bring tang growth, this chestnut's gonna have almost little no switch ins. Little to no switch ins. He's basically gonna be sacking stuff off, letting it being worn down by like Woodhammer, and he's gonna clean up. Essentially. Uh -huh. I like that. I like that. I like that chestnut. I like that chestnut. Mm -hmm. Only thing is we need to run this especially defensive then. Yeah. These two are both physically defensive. I mean, you can't get hit with Sludge Bomb, right? Because Sludge Bomb stops. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Sludge. Yeah, okay, okay. Just double checking. So then the only thing that this thing can really do to you. Uh, Tangrowth get HP fired. Because I know Tangrowth runs Sludge Bomb sometimes for grass types. But he can't do that because you have bulletproof unless he brings like poison jab <laughs> oh my god joey's gonna bring aerial ace he learns aerial ace Bro. why does it learn aerial ace i actually wouldn't this thing learns confusion fun fact he did King learns confusion yeah we learned it the hard way shout out to the keldios this thing learns shockwave too yo i mean I has a white -ass I, can't, I can't cover everything yeah, you there's can't. Like, there's thing. like four mons that Nutcracker can't touch anyway, so mm -hmm. I just I just click Drain Punch on it and then swap out. Yeah, because if he doesn't bring out Tangrowth, you would just. I think he's gonna bring Tangrowth as well because of the gas show. I feel it. Yeah, people know not to underestimate your Gastrodon. <laughs> people know. People know. But then that's why we have this guy. True. 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 How do you feel about this spread, though? Uh, we're not doing this spread, bro. What? Uh, no HP not? investment? What? We don't need the HP, my dude. Boy, you have 50 HP. So? Put it to the HP right now. Oh, look at that. Perfectly comes to where you can take rocks. Bro. Base 36. I like actually. I actually like the four in speed. Yeah. It actually mm. makes a difference, too. Any potential speed, any potential, it matters on any potential speed creeps that he could do, because most of his mons is slow. That's the thing about Joey's team, his team is relatively slow. Uh, like he has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, we just looked at, we just ran the calcs for, for the chestnut to outspeed. We outspeed everything that doesn't blatantly outspeed us. Yeah, like Pyroar. Basically the Pyro, offensive Flygon, threat, Pyroar, Flygon, and the first three OE mons, yeah. Because how fast is Garboder? If that pilot is it no Garboder is actually fast. That's what Why? I was thinking of. Why? Garboder's base 70 fucking. There five. we go. That's what I was thinking of. Oh, you definitely want to outspeed this. Yeah, put like 32 and try to outspeed that. 194. Uh, 99. Because we were what? What was our what was our speed on the Rotom? What was our speed on the Rotom? But you would naturally outspeed the well, you you would naturally speed because you're 86 and you're 75. You have to put a decent amount to outspeed you. We were 107 just now. He had to put 100 points. You think he's gonna give up 100 points to put into speed? Uh, maybe. He could put the rest in HP and the rest in like physical defense or some shit like that. Like he'd have to do like 132 and go to 112 or some shit. Yeah. So we're gonna take that out of special defense or HP. Mm-hmm. Speed to push us to. Wait, don't you already outspeed? What? Don't you already outspeed Garbota? You're 86 and Garbota's 75. 
But we're talking about if he speed creeps. Ah. Uh. How does that make you feel? How does that make you feel? I mess with it. I mess 100%. I mean, let's let's please not do thunder. If you're seriously doing thunder, hats oh, hats off to you. I am. I have nothing to lose this week. I've already gone positive this season. I literally have nothing to lose. I would, to be 100% honest, I would put Hyper Beam on Titania if I didn't have a guaranteed recharge. But then there's that 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 defeats the purpose of Hyper Beam. Then. <laughs> yeah, kind of like a lot. <laughs> Okay, so we have our walls, we have our offense, so... You're really doing can... thunder! I'm st yes! Yes! Freeze! Yes, Nexus, why not? Why not? Because you'll Tell not me. land that! That's like 70 accuracy! That's the exact same accuracy as Focus Blast, my dude! Is it really? Yes! I've landed more Focus Blast than I've landed Thunders. Listen, I'm gonna run Thunder, I'm gonna see what happens. If I can kill one of Joey's mods, I'll be fucking clapping my feet. Like a cotton-picking coon, like, come on now. This is Joey's revenge. He wants his revenge. He's going. He's going to. I, listen, Joey. If you watch this, bro, I just want one kill. I don't. I really don't care if you five with me. Everyone thinks you're gonna beat me as it is. So, just let me get one kill. Just let me get one kill. I mean, hey, if you, hey, more power to you, Lumberry. 100% Lumberry. You doing Lumberry D dance three attacks? Let's go. Why? Let us run. Choice band. I mean, look, if you want to do Choice Ban, it's the last week that's on you. You're the one doing the execution. If you want to do Choice Ban, you can, but... You know, I still think... Why don't you go Declaw and Outrage? What? Why? Um, what do you need for the moveset? Because, I mean, oh, if you so honestly, if you think about it, why don't you just... If you go Declaw and Outrage, Earthquake and E-Speed. Dragon I mean, Claw, Dragon Claw, Dragon Claw. Dragon Claw. Outrage will pop that. Earthquake will pop that. Because the only mon, he only has one dragon resist on his team, and that's a Mega Aggron, of course, and that's saying a lot because Mega Aggron is fat. Well, let's see here. You know he's gonna have Ice Beam on this thing. With the Mega Aggron, I feel like I have an Ice Punch of anything. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah. You know what I mean, my dude. No, I don't want Choice Band. It doesn't make a difference. You can just take the Choice Band off. We would have to. Oh, you're level 100. Bring it out to 50. No, 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 no. Ah. No, ah. No, it's because he. You know why? It's because he has filter. Mm-hmm. Yo, this is the week for Fire Blast Dragonite. I'm down. You don't think I am? Then ass Calcid. Ice Punch is tearing through me. That's with multi scale. Without multi scale, Damn. <laughs> shafted. But like, take off adamant so you don't get that drop. Nigga, it makes no difference. Let's do calm. It makes no difference, my dude. That does more than earthquake. A plus one, you're right. That's insane. That's insane. That thing is fat, dude. That's insane. Killing that thing is gonna be a problem. That's insane. That's why this galley around. That galley's journey, his job is to kill that Mega Aggron. No, we can't run both of those. Yeah, no, you can't. If we're gonna run Dragon Dance, I can't run both of those. Boom. Bada bing, bada boom, realest dudes in the room. Okay, so if we calc it the same way that we did this. We have to take Dragon Ice Speed to 113. So can we do Adamant at 113? Because that should outspeed everything except for what obviously outspeeds him. Mm-hmm. Look at that. Uh, actually, let me double check that right now. I'm actually about to look into this right now. Uh, Brian Spirit this. Uh, Dragon Ice base speed is what? 80? Mm -hmm. Uh, unfortunately... Unfortunately... Yeah, he, he basically outspeeds everything but the Oemons, Flygon, and Pyroar. Mm -hmm. So you would be, you're at 80, you would be creeping the 95. Garbodor. Oh, no, 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 because, yeah, you're right. You'd be creeping the Garbodor, essentially. What's base 95? Kieran Black. Oh, there's no way we're outspeed. <laughs> mm hmm. You basically have to outspeed that, because outside of that, you outspeed literally everybody. Outside of the mons that obviously have speed you, and you can do nothing absolutely about it until you get those D dances up. Well, if I get one D dance up, I'll outspeed the Kirim. Mm hmm. Just so you're a little bulkier, too. 
Actually, I like that you put a decent amount into... Yeah. Let me see here. He only has two clerics, too. That's why I was thinking maybe we could do Toxic and wear his team down. Yo, Toxic, Rap, Roost, and Protect, Dragonite? I did. I think you should run somebody with Toxic, dude. Because, I mean, his only clerics is Heal Bell, Manaphy. And, uh... I guess if you want to consider a Healing Wish on Mola. Plus one, we're bodying the, 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 the Kiram. With what? E speed? Dragon Claw. Oh, yeah, speed. That's right. That's right. That's right. Well, you have to find out if he's, you have to find out if he's scarfed or not. You'll find out. You will. You'll see the life orb recoil, or if not, that'll probably, you know, signify that. If he's not, that'll be better for our team. Mm hmm. I mean, that won't be good for switching, but it'll be better for our team. All right. So I like this. I like this. I like this a lot. So I don't know who we're going to put Toxic on, since we already built these mons the way we have. And if we're gonna run this nigga like well, well, the way we've been saying, about banded. Banded. We said we're gonna run banded. I mean, the only thing that comes in on a banded close combat is Reuniclus. Uh, but we are we swallow. We have to swallow hits, my dude. Yeah. The nice thing about that too. Well, the thing is, the first other thing is pretty easily fast. So that speeds again all the bulky mons outside of the ones that outside of his offensive mons, like Flygon, Pyroar, and the first three OU mons. It's kind of just like Dragonite. Yeah, it's the same speed as Dragonite. If you deadass ran this thing with Bandit, you're chilling. Choice, man. Are we sure? Are we sure you want to run Choice, man? Why would you not? Do the calcs right now. more so worried about locking myself in because we ran Gallade because like the only mod that comes in on close combat is Pyroar or Py what is Garboder and Reuniclus one which has you could knock off it and the other one which you could just then headbutt it but obviously you're banded so you can't change your moves like that but you know what I mean you know what I mean close combat ice punch I don't want to run Zen headbutt accuracy Blech. I'll cycle cut as I run. Fucking thunder. <laughs> what was my last move? Knock off. And I was adamant as well. Adamant band. Yeah, bandit is doing a lot. Because Joey has a lot of bulky mods, so you want to kind of pressure him to make it to where switching out is going to be difficult for him. So if you put up the hazards and you have like this banded threat right here. You're chilling. Or I mean, you don't even need to do bandit. You could do swords dance. Have two setup mons. Am I ever gonna get a chance to set up? You're not Momola. The setup fish right there. He's not gonna let that happen. He'll scald me and burn me. <clears throat> you dodge a bird. Okay, <laughs> we run a little more like that. Oh, even bandit, I'm not killing it. You can click toxic. You know, but that's the thing. You're not aiming for Okos. You're aiming for two KOs. And no, when you I'm, I'm saying to dodge the skull or to dodge the, the toxic coming from it. Like, I would, it would literally have to miss. That's the best thing. Well, that or... If, it's, it's, if, if he skull burns his galley, it's all over. Well, the thing is, too, is it's applying threat to his switch-ins. Like, you're applying pressure to his switch-ins. Like, if he hops in, into Amola against this galley, it's going to get two KO'd. But if anything, he'll probably 90% of the time swap out into Tangrowth. Or Tangrowth? What? Reuniclus, yeah. That gets, that gets too cool by it. Look up right now, Reuniclus, and see how much, uh... I have to click knockoff. That's the only thing I have is doing. Yeah. Damage. Ooh! Which, That's going for knockoff delicious. isn't bad. If he switches in on knockoff, he's dead. So it now comes down to what you want to do and what you're thinking is going to come out. Mm-hmm. There's a dead Reuniclus. So we have 156 remaining. You'll, you'll probably have Colberberry, if anything. So you check out to see how much it does with Colberberry. Yeah, I think it's dumb that Colberberry activates if I'm knocking it off. <laughs> Get that shit out of here, bro. That at the Game Freak! Oh, that's still doing decent. So that's 44% max. And then, Jesus fucking fuck. 44% max. 
I have to get a max roll. We gotta get a max roll. You gotta get a max roll. Either that, or you gotta get a little chip damage off. Because killing Joe's Reuniclus has been a struggle for a lot of people. So you'd have to get a little chip damage off. You'd have to get a little chip damage off. How do you feel about that spread? I like it. I like it. I like that it's I like that it's bulkier, number one, and I like that it's banded, number two. Mm -hmm. And I like that it needs to outspeed the Garboder. So hmm. there we go. Yeah. So I like the squad. I do. Dude, she got a booty. She do. She do. I'm telling you, I'm gonna thunder the fuck out of that fucking alone world. I'm calling. If you it actually now. land thunder, I will be surprised. I'm calling like, it right now, surprised. my dude. I'm if you land a thunder and you paralyze, I will be surprised. I'm telling you, I'm landing the thunder, my dude. Well, you guys, that is our final team prep team build for season two of the UCL. Uh, we didn't do as well this season as we did last season. We played on tilt for half the season, but that's okay. There's always next season if we compete. So we'll, we'll try again. But at the end of the day, the goal was to go positive. Uh, we, we had some butterfingers this season, but we still ended up positive. We hit the goal. We hit the goal. We hit the goal. So I'm happy, and I hope that you're happy that I'm happy that I'm happy for you. There you go. Of course, thank you to Nexus, not only for this week, for, for, for all his weeks. Nah, uh, like yeah. tutelage. Nah, yeah, I do what I can. I do what I can. Make sure you guys check out his channel links in the description below, and I will catch you guys tomorrow. I don't know what time, because people like to take my upload time, but it's whatever, you know. No hard feeling. It's a hard feeling. But yeah, I'll catch you guys tomorrow for our week 15 season 2 battle. But until then, we are out this bitch. Bye. Goodbye.